Hello, this is Darren with Brewboss with another tips and tricks video. Today I wanted to cover the boil detect on the Brewboss software. I often get questions about this. Uh, people are wondering why in the boil step I set the temperature to 220 degrees. Uh, as you can see right here, I'm actually in a brew session and uh, we're coming up and heating to a boil right now. And you can see the target temperature is set to 220 degrees. And the reason for that, and you shouldn't change to 212 or some other number, is that I want to make sure that number is higher than the boil will actually end up. So I choose 220 arbitrarily, uh, or 105 Celsius if you're using Celsius mode. Now, you need to understand that, first of all, we're not boiling water. I hear from a lot of people, water boils at 212. Why are you setting it to 220? Well, first of all, water only boils at 212 at 29.92 inches of mercury of a barometric pressure and at sea level, neither of which most people exist. So, um, and the other thing is, is we're not boiling water, we're boiling wort. And hopefully there's some sugar at this point because you've gone through the mash process. That's gonna raise your, your boil temperature from uh, what would actually be calculated based on your barometric pressure. Not knowing those things, Brew Boss attempts to calculate what the brew temp the actual boil temperature is for your brew. So you can see we've got a target temperature of here. And of note is over here, you'll see what's popped up. Once you get over 200 degrees, it starts looking for when a boil will occur. You can see the boil detect status. There's a little blue bar that's growing along the screen. Uh, and it is detecting the amount of time it takes to go up each degree. And looking at the slope of this curve, uh, the temperature rise, it determines when that slope levels off. And unfortunately, because I don't know the barometric pressure, I don't know the gravity of the work, the software has to make some assumptions, so it's using the temperature as its only input. So you'll see that once the, that bar gets all the way to the end, indicates that it's detected boil, and sometimes that will take a couple of minutes at full boil. Now that full boil at the beginning of the, uh, of the boil process is really a good thing. Uh, that helps get rid of a lot of DMS, uh, and it's, it's good to have that good strong boil, so don't worry about the strong boil at the beginning. Uh, we're at 209, and every time the degree goes up, you're gonna see this boil detect status start over. Now, what's occurring now is I've got a really strong boil, but what's interesting to know is the software will keep track of the original time that the boil temperature was reached. So even though it takes a minute and a half or two minutes to determine that it actually is at boil because it sees it never goes to the next temperature, it's still gonna subtract that amount from your boil time. So your boil time you've calculated, in this case 60 minutes, will end up exactly as you planned. You're not losing this time where it's boiling very hard. So I just want that to be clear. Uh, we've just jumped up to 210. I can tell you based on the pressure that uh, I'm at today that we're gonna be very, very close. 210 will probably be our number. And I will check back in with you when we get close to the end of this boil detect. Okay, we're at 210, uh, bringing it up to a heat to a boil. Uh, you can see our set point is still set to 220, and our boil detect line is almost to the end. Now, I'm predicting that 210 is our boil temperature today, and as you see, the line is growing on the boil detect status. We've got a pretty strong boil going right now. It's been for about a minute and a half, uh, and as you can see, when this boil detect status gets to the end of the line, and this temperature has not gone to 211, it is going to determine that we are at boil. Okay, as you can see, it's automatically detected the boil, that bar has gone away, and it has changed our temperature to 210. So now that number is accurate. Never, ever, ever try to at change that set point artificially. Let the system calculate the boil temperature. It's very important that it's accurate based on the current atmospheric conditions. And as you can see here, it's automatically adjusted our boil power to 63%, which is our PWRB setting and our parameters.